Okay, guys, welcome back. Let's take a look at a, a new little walkthrough here with Intersect. Um, I made a cool new uh, thing, uh, dungeons. Uh, I made a dungeon in Ambardia, and I think it's really cool. I want to show it off to you guys, so let's get to it. Let's log on into Ambardia. Logging on in here, and let me show you uh, this cool dungeon I made. What I'll do is I'll show it to you, and then I'll kind of show you how I made some of the objects and stuff. So it'll be like a tutorial, but really it's going to be like um, a walkthrough. Oh, this is cool, and here's how you do it. So first thing you're going to notice, nice dark dungeon, creepy, eerie green lights, and I got my skeletons here. And uh, Ambard's all decked out in... Um, earth mage gear let me show you how that works so he's got all right right here in his inventory he's got his uh his earth staff his earth hat his earth robes and his earth spell book so he's got everything he needs to be a fully equipped and he can cast an earth blast spell so let's kick this skeleton's ass right here real quick all right so we there we go. Boom, boom. All right, got me some gold. All right, so you see how that works. So let's run through the dungeon. I want to get through all this. And you'll notice that my my dungeon is set as in, an indoor map. So the outdoor lighting, the day and night cycle, has no effect on it. It's set as an indoor light. Uh, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Also, my the, my characters glow in the map. Uh, I've set my character glow way down, too, because, he, you know, I figure he's got some magic stuff, so maybe he glows a little bit. I don't know. But I don't want him to glow too much. I want the, I want the dungeon to be nice and dark when it gets through it here. So we're going to go on up, and uh, here we go. All right, this is the main entrance to uh, where the boss is going to be. So let's walk on down in here and boom! This is like a mushroom world thing. We gotta go in here. I got a couple of fringe problems I could fix later, no big deal. But so we've got our mage gear and look there, there's the mushy man right there. Yeah, so let's get out. let's attack the mushy man. Boom, boom, boom. I gotta run. I need to run because the mushy man will kill me. Here comes the mushy man. Come on, Mushy Man. All right, we're at Mushy Man. So this is, a boss, this is basically a boss fight I've set up. And I think I'm doing all right. Mushy, oh, Mushy Man's killing me. Run for Mushy Man. Let's go down here. Maybe I can attack him. Yeah. So my mage staff is basically a ranged item. Yeah. And boom, I killed Mushy Man, and he drops. Oh, oh, oh. So Mushy Man is, is, is an end of the dungeon boss. And he dropped this cool thing called the, uh, the Orb of Power. Uh, I'm going to take that back to my quest giver on the island. She's going to be, and that's, that's ultimately what's going to let me get off of the island on the Bellorathon, the ship that takes me to the mainland. But. Anyway, back down to here. Uh, the dungeon is real cool. Again, I got my cool, eerie, glowy lights. Um, I put little regular small lights in some of the mushrooms to make everything glow real cool and everything. Um, and yeah, so there was a basic. There, that was a basic boss fight in a cool dungeon I created. And uh, let's let's uh, go ahead and. Uh, Get out of this. I want to show you how I created some of this. So let's head on over to our. Go ahead and uh, open up our editor. And what we'll do is I'll just create a couple of the elements here that we use. So on the right hand side here of our editor, I've got a folder called the Island Dungeon. We'll click Island Dungeon, the first one. That'll take me to the first dungeon here. 
Uh, and what you can see is the map properties here on the lower right hand corner. <laughs> this is where you can set a lot of your map properties. Like I say, the, the amount of darkness, lightness, character glow, all that good fun stuff. Um, I haven't added any music or sound yet, no fog. We'll maybe get into that one day. But uh, the island, the, uh, the name is important. This is Island Dungeon. It lets me know that's the first dungeon. Uh, the zone type, normal. All right, I don't want it to be safe. I want it to be normal later on. I mean, if you want to enter into dungeons and stuff, then, you know, PvP should be on. No big deal. Okay, lighting, brightness. So here we go. So if I hit 255 and hit enter, see, that brightens everything up to normal for this one map, not the other ones. Um, but I want my brightness to be real, real 25. And you can see how it went down. So that's how you set your brightness for your dungeons and stuff. Make sure that if it's a dungeon or an inside of a building or something that your indoors is set to true. Okay. Um, let's see here. Miscellaneous overview. Player light size. Um, this is where player light intensity, 100. Okay, so this is how you can make the players self glow lower or higher um it's higher than 100 i can't remember what it is but uh, this is how you can adjust that so that makes it all creepy and eerie and everything but let's just add a a skeleton real quick to this first view so we'll go to content editors no i'm sorry i'm sorry go to tiles over here on the on the left hand side go to attributes Go to NPCs. Go to the last tab right here, NPCs. And what we're going to do is set a skeleton. We want to set a declared space for him and hit add. And he should spawn right there. Okay. Um, if we look at our attributes, he shouldn't be able to get outside of the... The blocked areas and the warp and so forth and whatnot. Um, so yeah, NPC. We're gonna declare a spot. He's gonna always spawn here. I like him to spawn kind of randomly. Uh, and one way I can make him spawn randomly uh, without them spawning out here in the outside of the black areas. So let's 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 try that real quick. Let's uh, delete that if I can. I may have to log out. Let's see. And I don't know. Okay, well, let's just add another one. Let's do a random. And uh, what I'll do is under attributes, I'll go to NPC avoid. I'm only going to want my, it's a, my skeleton to randomly come in either here are on this side okay and what i'm going to do is i'll do an npc avoid i'm going to select my rectangle fill i'm just going to drag my npc avoid drag the npc avoid instead of setting them one at a time like this you can select this rectangle fill drag it and pull it across like this so yeah just like that and I want to do it over here. Oh, that's outside of the map. Okay, cool. So that's all set. So I will get one skeleton to spawn here, and I'm going to get. I'm going to add another skeleton as random. I'm going to hit add. Okay, and and I don't I don't think I have to do anything. A random skeleton is now going to appear somewhere in here. So let's save this real quick. Yes. And let's go test it out and see if that works. Okay, so let's open up our client. Let me switch to the client view so you guys can see a little bit better. Client view any day. There we go. Log in, log in, and let's run back over to our dungeon over here and actually see if it works. And remember, shift. And right click if you're administrator, it'll pop you right on through the map so you don't have to worry about that too much. Let's get outside of the dungeon. 
Alright, hang on. Alright, so let's walk. As you'll notice, it's my night cycle right now. So let's go in the dungeon. So there's our spawned skeleton right there. And let's go see if we can find our random skeleton. Should be two skeletons on this map. This one to fit your map. Looks like we might be. Uh, yep. And there's a random one right over here. Now this guy, he could be anywhere. He could spawn right next to this other one, so you want to walk in. There's two skeletons, so forth and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So that's how you. Uh, that's that's my dungeon that I've created. Uh, that's how I have spawned the NPCs into my dungeon. I went into a little bit on the how to set your character likeness, your dungeon likeness. Um, and that's another cool thing. Uh, real quick, let's say we want to put. Um, uh, one of those cool green lights right here. Let's go do that. Let's exit out of here. Okay. Back to my desktop. Let's open up the editor. I'm going to show you how I added one of those, how to add one of those cool green lights. All right. So, right here on the right, Island Dungeon. Let's go, let's go to our Island Dungeon. Okay. If you double click on the areas outside of the map that you're on, it will warp you there. So let's go there. Let's go to this map over here, right there. Not really what I want. Let's go. Let's find, let's find a cool place for a new green light. No, no, not really. Yeah, this will be a cool spot. Let's put a new green light right here. So if you go to your left hand side, you can drag your tile sets over so you can see a little bit better. Now let's, my tile set for the green light is going to be Portal Castle, I think. Yes. These are my graphics I've created for this. Okay. So then, and there's my green light. And what I'm going to do is right here, let's see, let's set this as a mask to right here we'll go yes yeah, let's just go right here okay and then this we're going to select as a let's see if mask 2 works on that too. it looks like mask 2 works there so boom go to attribute this little block there go back now to make the green glow like that to make it show up what we need to go to is lights. Okay. Double click right around the light somewhere. Okay. Like that. Okay. And on the left hand side under lights, select color. Let's select this bright green right here. Hit OK. And let's make our light size 300. And I think that kind of pretty much matches over there. It looks like it might be a little bit more, maybe 500. There we go, 500. But I think I'll make this one just a little bit darker. Maybe go 350. And hit save. And there we have it. We have that's how I set my little green light <laughs> lights up. Um, I like to click outside. Yes, save the map. And then let's just close the editor. Let's go test it out real quick. Let's open her up. Get in here so you guys can see. Oh, okay. Log in, log in, and um, there's my new little light right there. Pretty cool. Got me a skeleton. Uh, see, now I got both two skeletons here attacking. Three, this other skeleton came in from up top, I believe. But, yeah, so. There you have it. That is dungeons and mushrooms. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.